Welcome in guys, how we doing? We are going to be answering some questions that you guys have been asking of the Pokemon mod videos we have uploaded for TCG Card Shop Simulator. Having said that, let's get straight into it. As some of you may have noticed, unfortunately, Pokemon is no longer available to download. But... So as you guys may have been aware, the original Pokemon had been taken down. So we created a new video with a new Pokemon store mod, which basically implemented the old original Pokemon. Now, the reason why you're probably watching this video is the Pokemon does not work for you. The number one reason why is Pokemon Store does currently keep updating their folders to new versions to accommodate for the TCG card shop updates. As we can see, it's version 0.51. Every time the game updates, there will be a new Pokemon Store mod update, meaning that this is where we're having a lot of these issues where cards are blank or names are on the wrong Pokemon, etc. So in order to fix this, I would recommend wiping the game clean of any mods, reinstalling TCG Card Shop Simulator and re-downloading all the new Nexus mod update folders. If you guys don't know how to start off fresh, uninstall and reinstall the game, I'm happy to make a quick video on how to do this, but you gotta let me know in the comments below. So as you can see, we're up to the version seven on the Pokemon store. Heading back to the main page, scrolling down, you can see for version 0.51 of TCG Card Drop Simulator, we now have generation one, two, three, and four been added to this with generation five in progress. So we may have to eventually redo these steps once the new Pokemon mod does come out. Also, if you are enjoying our content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to help others find our video who might be having issues also. Another question is, is this safe to use? Yes, it is completely safe. It is not a scam. It's completely free. You just have to make an account on Nexus mods, which doesn't cost a thing. Once you've done that, then you have access to all the Nexus mods and free downloads. I've been using this for the last few months. We've had multiple people comment saying that this is the best thing that's happened to TCG Card Shop Simulator. So we do have a lot of people backing the mod itself. Another question you guys have asked, can this mod be used with other mods? The answer is yes. This can be used with other mods as long as it's not a full theme mod. Mods like fast pack opening, restock shelves, eliminate stink, money mods, any other mods that don't have any kind of change to any themes or cards themselves. Once you have a fresh in store, we're gonna click on requirements on the homepage of Pokemon store. We are going to right click on all these titles Open link in new tab for all of these. Once all five new tabs are opened, click on each one individually, click on files and manual download under main files, download. Again, if you haven't made an account, make an account, it's completely free. Once you've signed in, click slow download. It'll start in four seconds. Head over to the next open tab, files, main files, download and slow download. Continue this step for the other three tabs. Once you've hit download on all them, head back to the Pokemon Store homepage, click on files, scroll down to under main files, manual download, and download. If this video has helped you and you've found some value, it would mean the world if you hit that subscribe button. We do it all here on the channel, from tutorial videos, cozy games, simulated games, Fortnite, horror games, and reaction videos. If you hit that bell notification, we upload weekly and you'll be the first to know. Okay, once they're all downloaded, head over to your downloads window, right click on each of these zip folders individually, extract all, extract. Just like how we do in our mod tutorial. Delete the zip folders once unzipped, so you're just left with these folders. Head back over to Steam, Library, TCG Card Shop Simulator, right click on this, Manage, Browse local files and it'll come up this window. Bring this window over here, bring up your downloads window, set it up over the right. First thing is Bepony X as always. Open up Bepony X pack for TCG Card Shop. Highlight over all of these files. Click and drag over to TCG Card Shop Simulator and drop it here. Head back over to downloads, hit back once. Step two is texture replacer. Now from the original tutorial video that I did create, they have changed this folder. So instead of it just having Bepony X, we now have to click into the texture replacer folder and it'll come up with this folder texture replacer here. Now I want you to head back over to TCG Card Shop Simulator, open Bepony X, open plugins, 
I want you to click and drag this texture replacer folder from downloads and put it into the plugins folder. This is where texture replacer typically will live within TCG Card Shop Simulator main files, Bepony X, plugins. That's where texture replacer usually lives. So if you do have any issues uh, upcoming in the new updates, that's where you typically put the texture replacer folder into the plugins of Bepony X. Head back over to your downloads. Okay, step three, new cards mod version 1.6. So your one may look a little bit different to mine because I already downloaded it. You might have two folders here, so click on both of these folders when you are dragging them across. But first, go back over to plugins. We wanna click back once, twice. So we're on this TCG Card Shop Simulator main folders page. Head back to downloads, click and drag both of these, or if you don't have both, just the one over to a blank space over in the TCG Card Shop Simulator, and it should automatically drop these folders into place. Okay, next, head back over to downloads, and we're going to drop Art Expander in next. So open up Art Expander, you'll see plugins folder here. Head back to TCG, double click on Bepony X, and as you see, it's got the same file name as our download. So click on the plugins and drag this over to a blank space. So it should auto assign all the contents inside the folder straight into plugins for you. Okay, hit back on Bepony X. So you're back to the main window, head over to downloads, hit back once, and we're gonna drop the last folder, TCG card Pokemon version 5.1. Click on the folder, and I want you to click and drag both of these folders, Bepony X and Card Shop Simulator data, over to a blank space in TCG Card Shop Simulator. It'll say, do you want to replace these files? Yes, we do. Now, this is important. If there is a new version of Pokemon Store that is above seven, you will need to repeat this last step and download the new folder from Nexus Mods. So we go back over to the home page here, files on the Pokemon store main page. And under the main files, it might have version 7.1, version eight, etc. It could be anything. Then you'll need to manual download. Once that downloads, repeat that last step that I showed you guys. Open the folder, click and drag on both these folders and drop them over to TCG Card Shop Simulator. You shouldn't have to do any of the other steps unless it's a major update, then you might have to have a clean restart, uninstall, reinstall, get rid of all the mods and redo all these steps. If there is anything that I might have missed or you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If it's too hard to explain, I'll make a new Q&A video and show you exactly how it's done. Peace out guys, thank you so much and we'll see you guys in the next video.